what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd People too fix now with these energy not matching Clean it dirty, it don't matter at the bands no What's up y'all, it's your girl Brianna Imani And you are tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview And today, who do we have in hey, the building? Hey, we got CJ, C double E, J6Y C double E, J6Y So why, very curious to know why, where does the six come from? The six, basically, my name's CJ, you feel me? Uh-huh So when I was like first on social media, mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to be CJ and just that. Mm -hmm. But the A was taken, so I just used a six. It was like a backward A, low key. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I don't think I've ever because usually when people use like something other than an A, they use like the B or something. No. Mm -mm, oh, nah, okay. people be using fours. I don't know. Fours too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so CJ. Okay, I was curious. I didn't know if that came from like anything. Okay. So where are you from? I'm from Boston. I was born in Boston. I live in Medford, grew up in Medford. Moved around a little bit. Medford is yeah, another part of Okay. Yeah. It's like fifteen away. Okay. From Boston. And how what's what's it like there? What was it like growing up in Massachusetts? Yeah, shoot. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah. It's just I mean, I went to the school since kindergarten till I graduated. So it was like you went to school, like the, to same the same school. school oh, yeah. okay. I'm like you went to school. Okay. To kindergarten <laughs> since I graduated, so like it was just mostly school. But like other than that, outside of school, mm -hmm. I felt like um, I just had my mom, my dad, but like you know they split. So it was just my mom eventually, and then after that, that's when we started moving, and. Um, basically, me and my siblings, we got split up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we eventually got back together, but okay, other than good. that. So, how would you say, like, the way that you grew up has, like, impacted who you are now in your, does that, like, have to, anything to do with, like, what made you start writing music? Is it, like, an outlet for you? Yeah, I would yeah. say that. So how how would you say like your life experiences contributes to your creative process? Well, basically, you know, just thoughts and feelings, mm -hmm. and I just incorporate in the music. Okay. Um. So walk me through like what your creative process is like. All right. So this depends on my mood, mm -hmm. but. Basically, I could start off a song just by chilling and just writing off like shit that I be thinking about. Mm -hmm. And or if I find a beat that's really hitting, mm -hmm. then and if it's if I'm feeling the beat, I could hold that down and then really lock in on that. Okay. But I feel like to create the best like art content, whatever, I gotta really be in the zone, okay. in the right environment. Okay, so what's, like, the perfect environment for you to, like, make your best music? Shoot. I mean, to be real, when I have my beats on, mm -hmm. I feel like I can make music anywhere, but to be real. When you have your beats on, like, your, yeah, the your headphones. headphones. Yeah, okay. But I would say in the studio with not too many people or by myself. Mm -hmm. And then some good, some good loud, you feel me? Okay. Since I've been okay. out here, I'm not going to lie. What? It's been a hype. Uh uh, hold on, I cause I know you not you nah. not in New York. So, so you think your your little Massachusetts weed is better than New York? I mean, I think my weed is better than what I got out here so far. Well, you ain't been seeing the right people, respectfully. I mean, shoot, I'm not gonna lie, my boy, he just got some gas, uh -huh. low key from the right person. Okay. So that shit low key made me, you know. Okay, so do you feel like you make your best music like while under the influence? I mean. Recording wise, there's no right answer. I know, I know. I mean, nah. To be real, to get my zone, I feel like yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I gotta this. get, I gotta get right. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like sometimes, you know, you need to like you let loose, like you yeah, say. You, you know, it, a lot of things start to come to mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe things that you might have not thought about before. Yeah. Okay, so like, what's your favorite part of the creative process? Mm, I say. 
being in the booth mm-hmm. and like taking my time. Okay. Because I don't like to rush it. I used to like, I used to feel like I would just rush and all that. But over time, I started working on my sound mm-hmm. and like, I still haven't mastered it. Like, I'm still like progressing every day. But mm-hmm. damn, I forgot the question. Um, like, what's your favorite part of the? Oh, okay, yeah. Though? So in the booth, yeah. Okay. So being in the booth, just okay. recording to hear myself. Mm-hmm. When I hear myself, I feel like I'm in my own world. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, just keep vibing. So you said that you like have been improving your sound. What mm-hmm. was it before that you, um, heard in yourself or, or whatnot that you felt like needed to <coughs> change? Well, shit. To be honest, I feel like before, like when I started, mm-hmm. not too long ago, um, I feel like when I was recording, most of the time, I would just be talking mm-hmm. and like, just be rhyming and shit or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, I made this one song, I had a little like melodic tune to it. Mm-hmm. And my cousin was like, oh, he's like, you could do so much more, like, you could be more versatile and all that. And Oh, for one through. song, or it was like you had songs yeah, already. I had songs you, already. But okay, and it was, he was getting a little repetitive. That, just that one song. It's called Demons. Okay. But yeah, a lot of people was fucking with that one too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, after that, he started going to stew with me more, and he would be like, "Oh, try this, try that, mm-hmm. like try to sing a little more, do this and that, or whatever." And how how important do you think that is to have somebody to like give you those? Because I feel like, you know, sometimes people don't want to step on any toes. They mm-hmm. don't want to, like, give constructive criticism, whether it's in fear of it not being received well or just not wanting to be honest. Mm-hmm. How important do you think that is to have somebody in your corner who's, like, honest with you? I mean, to be real. Yeah. Everyone in my corner got to be honest with me, like, all the time. Mm-hmm. But because if not, like. It's not gonna fuck with you, like off rip, but to be. But then, how do you know, like, if somebody's really being real with you, if they just not think? Cause I, I witnessed firsthand, and this mm-hmm. is not saying no, that this no. is about you, yeah. but like I've witnessed firsthand, like mm-hmm. people gassing a bros music, and that shit garbage. Nah, I feel you. So like, how do you really know if somebody's really like? Cause you said like you can't. They, like, you can't have anybody around you who's not being honest. How do you know, like, if it's really them being honest or them just not, you know, not saying anything? I mean, he was trying to manage me and all that and really, like, get to it. But he was slacking. Okay. Because I was going to say, like, like, clearly, like, not your manager. So but yeah. So what what does your team look like? My team, um, I got a manager. Mm-hmm. I got a videographer. I got photographers. Okay. I got beat makers, bad boy records. Okay. Shoot. Check you out. So. You feel me? You Maybe started, so you started making, me, now Bad Boy is a label, or, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. so we're going to get into that in a bit. So you started making music when? I would say like 2017. 2017. Mm-hmm. So what happened between 2017 and 2022? Because I noticed it looked like you were dropping some music back then, and then it kind of slowed up, and now you've been like dropping consistently. It looks like once a month mm-hmm. or so. So like what happened in that, in the meantime? All right, so I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was when I first started. I was dropping like I tried to drop like every two weeks or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I just started stacking, doing the vault, and then I took a I took a little break because my cousin, right, the one talking about my sound and shit, right? Yeah, he told me not to drop. And Man. <laughs> he was telling me, like, like yeah, like, I, I ended up dropping a song for for this one summer. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's not my boy no more, but that song, it did numbers. Niggas was fucking with it. But after that song, I just didn't drop. And then that shit was, like, 2019, I think. 20, 2019 and 2020, I don't know. And then over the time, though, I was just in the stool, mm-hmm. stacking up the vault, mm-hmm. working on my sound. And then once I had, like, a few bangers in the vault, I just started dropping. Okay. Another thing, yeah, I just started dropping. No, what was you going to say? Another oh, thing. Oh, another was thing was I'd be really picky on the cover art, but 
I'm the saying, cover that is yeah. not what I was expecting you to say. The cover really art, picky, yeah, because like it's it really be hard to um feel me bring your like creative thoughts to life. Okay. And like um picture front art or whatever. So how important do you think it is? How important do you think the cover art is to your music? Because where do people where do most people like tune in to your music from? Is it YouTube or Apple Music or what? Mm. I mean, I just started dropping on Apple like last year. Yeah. Apple and all that. But you have a, you have a few songs on there. Yeah. You have I like do, a I like do. a good amount. So like, where where do people usually tune in to where it's like the cover art is like a like a big Shoot. thing? I mean, that's just a personal. Okay. Yeah. Are you artistic? I mean, yeah, I like art. You like art, like you draw and stuff. I mean, I used to make comics like back in the day, in, like fourth grade. Okay. And then. That shit ended because, like, my boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> damn. <laughs> nah, my boy. His name is Fonzo. Oh, I'm not saying. I hope it's not name, the same his one. His middle name is Patches or something. No, 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 no. So, right? So, this dude in my class, his name is Alfonso, right? Yeah. Um, We was, we were playing PS3 and shit back in the day, mm-hmm. playing Call of Duty Zombies or whatever. Mm-hmm. After school and shit. And his username was Patches, right? So, like, I made a comic. And I put patches in it. And I guess he got feelings over it. So we told this this teacher or whatever. And then <laughs> came, she took my folder for comics. And then for no explanation, she took that shit. And then that was it. And then I just stopped really drawing after that. And then you got into music. Or that was still happening. I mean, got into a little sports. But. Okay. Okay, so what? How would you describe your sound? To My sound. Yeah. I mean, I would say my sound is like I don't know. Little, little bit of melodic, mm-hmm. little bit of bars. Nobody okay. really be. And I never got asked this, so. You I mean, <laughs> yeah, like if you if nah. you were describing your music, my let's music, say who's your favorite artist? I was, I ain't got a favorite artist, but like there's artists. All right, who's there's somebody like you listen to a lot? Shoot, I fuck with Melly. Melly? Yeah, why? Why? Melly. Okay, so if if you were to see him right now, he would walk through this door. He locked up. I mean, obviously, hypothetically speaking, yeah. if he were to walk through this door and you had to explain to him like what your sound was like, you didn't have no phone, no computer, no nothing. Like, how would you how would you explain it? Bars. I would not like. I would you, just for me. I would just show like. You said so. Try to come up like with some shit. Oh, That's you fine. would. Yeah. You would come up with some shit. All right, so let me hear something. Man, ain't Since no beat playing, man. Ain't but no beat gonna be playing when he walks through them doors. That's true. That's true. All right, I won't put you on the spot on like the that, spot but like I will that. put you on the spot. What do you think is like your hardest bar that you got? Cause you got bars. You said it yourself. So what's the hardest one that you got? I'm curious. Hmm. Think about that one, cause mm-hmm. I got a lot in the vault. Oh, you got a lot. Yeah. Okay, so why are you thinking? Keep keep thinking about it because I'm going to circle back to it. What do you think is like your most underrated song that you have out? That I have out right now? Mm-hmm. Let me think about that. I mean. It's just so many to choose from, right? Yeah. I Not would say. Okay. I would say, I would say tears. Tears. Yeah. So why do you think? Why do you think it's underrated? You think uh, like people didn't really feel it the way you wanted them? Nah, to? Nah, people was fucking with it. People was fucking with it. Mhm. I just don't know. Like, um, I don't really care about the numbers, but when I go on South Call, that shit got a lot of numbers. Mm-hmm. But like, since I just start, started dropping an Apple and shit, mm-hmm. that shit got like, you feel me? Like, it's in the hundreds. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, SoundCloud is still in the hundreds, too, but shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, it takes some time. Like, do you feel like you have any songs that you drop that is, like, the one the or, chain. like, could be the one? Because, you know, I feel like people be making music, and it's like, okay, you know, this sounds good. But then they have that song that's like, oh, yeah, this is mm-hmm. going to be the one to make me nah, pop. I don't think so. You don't think you have that one so. yet? Nah, is it in the vault, or it just hasn't been made yet? I don't think it's been made yet. Okay. Nah. I mean, you know, you got, you know, you got some Maybe time. Maybe it's in the vault. 
Because, you know, to that right ear, it could be that one, but you never know. So how do you determine what songs you're going to drop versus what songs you're going to keep? Like, you know, tucked away. Um, I mean, shoot. I be playing it around shorty sometimes. My boys getting, like, asking them what they think. Not okay. really, though, because, like, Mostly I be playing my my unreleased around the shorties. They be like, "Oh, I rock with this, this and uh, that." Uh huh. But and my niggas be fucking with it too. Okay. And then there's a lot, but personally, I just keep the favorites under like one list, and then I just keep the others to the side. Okay. And like, there's some ones that I've, that I've made before that I don't really rock with. But, like, one of my boys would rock with it heavy. And, like, it'll just stay in the vault because I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, cool. So, who's on your playlist right now? Like, I know you said, like, you know, Melly, you listen to his music. But, like, in terms of, like, upcoming artists, who who are you listening to? Upcoming? Mm-hmm. Um, I fuck with No Cap, Rallo. Okay. Um, upcoming, I mean... I would say they up, but I be fucking with, like, Future. Okay, well, definitely mm. not upcoming. Yeah. Yeah. And who, so who would be, like, your top five, like, dream collabs? Man. <clears throat> I would say <laughs> I ain't got no dream collabs. All right, like, who would you want to collab with? Who would I want to collab with? Okay. I don't want to collab with Melly just because, like, I really fuck with his music. Sound okay. Different. Um, Drake, just because it's Drake. I mean, it's Drake, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> feel me? Um, All right, I'm going to say three. We don't got to do three? five. I <laughs> bet. <laughs> and. Maybe trying to switch it up. Just one more. Yeah, yeah, got you. Damn, I'm gonna just say Uzi. I feel like that should okay. be a vibe. Yeah, he he's yeah. definitely a vibe. So like, have you been per- have you performed at all? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And how do you, how do you like performing? It's like natural to me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Like, they was fucking. Where did you perform? Who's they? The first time I performed, it was um, it was like. So this girl at school, she had like a birthday party, and like I had this one. I had a few songs out actually in high school. Like I had a couple songs that people was fucking with, mm-hmm. and I think this was like in tenth grade. But yeah, we was like this hall or whatever. There was a stage. They asked me to perform, and I just got on stage. You feel me? I asked the DJ like, "Yo, you can fuck me in or whatever." Played like a few songs, like oh, five so it's songs. Like an impromptu performance. Yeah. Okay. And it was fucking with. Nice. Okay, so like, where would you like to perform? Like, what would be like the dream performance stage for you? Like, where would you like to see yourself perform? Um, I performed at a few venues, but I would say, I mean, shit. Since I'm in Boston, TD Garden. Okay, Ma- I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize because I feel like I didn't make, I didn't make clear. the question clear. Yeah. When I say like, where would you like to perform? Like, would your dream performance be like a Rolling Loud, a VMAs? Uh, like, where would you like to see yourself? Broccoli Fest, I know. Governor's Ball. Where would you like to perform? Like, what's your dream performance? I mean, I would say rolling loud because everybody is talking about rolling loud. I be rolling loud, and I like rolling loud, so rolling loud. Um, Okay. Understand. Okay. You said everybody be talking about rolling loud, like you not tuned in. I mean, I don't be be on social media like that. I be out the mix. I just be. You don't be. Okay, so do you you feel like after a certain point, you have to be on social media to, like, you know, boost your. Yeah. Yeah. But, like. I really just be chilling a lot. Okay. All right. Um, so what do you have coming up? Like what things can we look forward to seeing from you? Well, um, 
So right now, shooting a video for this song called Stars. It's about to drop next month. Okay. Yeah. And what's that? What's that? You say you about to shoot a video. Like, do you have an idea? Like, do you come up with a treatment before you record your videos or? Um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You and do you come up with the we ideas for it or? Collaborate. But okay. My boy Dream. Mm -hmm. Be directing. Okay, so do we yeah. have a vision for what stars is gonna look like? Um, shoot. Let we gonna keep it low key okay. until you feel all right, me. all right, all right. <laughs> to be announced, to be announced. Okay, so we have the video for stars coming out. Anything else? Like, what else is going on in the life of CJ? In the life of CJ, probably gonna drop an EP. Oh, okay. Again, by the end of the the recorded, like maybe like September. I don't know. TBA, TBA. To be announced. Once Album again. 2023. Okay. Maybe like, I don't know how many tracks here. Are we switching it up or yeah. are we keeping the same melodic? Oh, no. It's going to be very versatile. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm, that's my, like, I'm trying to be versatile. Like, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, do you have any inspirations, <coughs> like, people that you look up to in your music? Like, when you're, like, you say you coming out with another EP, you coming out with an album, you coming out with a, with a music video. Is there anybody, like, that you use as like inspiration when you're coming up with these things? Nah. Just CJ. Yeah, just CJ. Okay, cool. So what what advice um, would you give to someone? Um, or rather, you know what, I'll ask you this. What advice do you wish that you would have gotten um, coming up in this industry <clears throat> um, that maybe you've experienced so far that you didn't really have a heads up on yet? Mm. I would say, um, if you about to work with someone, like, let's say for example, a videographer, like mm -hmm. someone who make videos, mm -hmm. I would say, get shit on paper, like a contract. I mean, so like people don't be in no fuck shit. Yeah. Because you know people be fugazi and shit. Yeah. Are you speaking from experience? Yeah. Really? What happened? I mean, shoot. You don't so gotta say long, no names. Long story happened? short, had this videographer made this video. I forgot what what it was for. Oh, man in the mirror. I said it was hard too. Like we recorded and all that, and yeah. I created him and shit. Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, bro, I should have this to you." And like, da 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 da. Long story short, nigga went ghost. Oh damn. Yeah, and it wasn't just me who did this to you. Feel me? Damn. So I you. Know. So I was about to see that's on you because you didn't do your research. Nah, because the thing is, I shot a few videos with him before. Oh, So it's just like list. some weird shit, you feel me? Mm. Okay. But yeah. So have everything on paperwork. Know who you're working with. Yeah. That's okay. For sure. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that you would like to talk about? Anything else that you feel like we didn't touch on? <coughs> nah. You sure? Chilling, yeah. Okay. People to bug with you, yeah. All right. Well, what else you going to do? What else you got planned for while you're in New York? Um, it's about to shoot again tomorrow. Shoot a video? Yeah, I've been shooting all week. Uh, what, what do you mean? So you didn't, I said what's coming up. You said you about to still shot. So what have you been yeah, shooting? What like, have you been shooting in New York? Um, so we got here, I think we got here Sunday night. Okay. And yeah, we started shooting on Monday. All right. What you, what are you shooting? What are you working on? Stars. That's what we're working on right oh, now. Oh, I thought you said, yeah. oh, I thought you said you was about to start nah, shooting stars. Nah, we've been shooting Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay, now that makes sense. I'm thinking yeah. it was coming, like, nah. you about to start uh, shooting it. Okay, so we can expect for it. Okay, so we can expect yeah. for it to drop because mm -hmm. it's already in the works. Yeah. So you in New York for the video. Yes. Oh, that's, that's dope. So sure. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. So, um. Then to the yams. You going to the yams? Yeah. For the same video or for something different? Nah, it's, you know, a little something like. Mm -hmm. something What's something that? Like, What's that about? Some chill vibes. I'm about to go. With, Wait, you just going for on like a personal tip, or you going for like mu for music? I mean, it's music. <sighs> it's mainly music, but I'm a, I'm just be chilling though. Okay, so I haven't been to Miami yet, but. Okay, well, yeah. it's definitely a vibe. But if you're going for music, don't get too caught up out there. Don't get distracted. Are you? So you say you're going for music, but you want to collab with somebody? You going <coughs> to a certain studio? Like, what's what's I'm going gonna on? Just see the there? vibe out there. Okay. My boy, I'm gonna go with my boy. He doing guitar covers. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty fire with that shit. That's nice. He he got some lined up for when we go. He about to he about to pop out there. But he got something lined up in terms of like performance wise um, or yeah, he's studio. Yeah, probably do some covers with people. Oh. Okay. It's gonna be fire. 
And so you're just going to be like. Oh, I'm going to do one too. Okay. I was going to say too. like, so. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, plug your social medias in so that, you know, the people know where to find you. All right, y'all. My social media is C-E-E-J-6-Y on everything. Except Snapchat. Y'all ain't got to add me on that though. <laughs> yeah. Are you on TikTok? I'm on TikTok. Always CJ out here on TikTok. Do you do you like post your music on TikTok or do you use it for like, like, just to like look at it? No, like, I mean like, cause you know some like people are on TikTok but they use it just to do like, you know, little voiceovers and stuff. They don't really be posting their music on there. <sighs> you post your music on there? I mean, I just started posting on TikTok a little more. You feel me? And is it your music? It's like see, you was making it sound. Look, you was making me seem like I was crazy no, for asking. Nah, 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 nah. That's why I was asking. Like, you know, you gotta start posting your music yeah. on there. Get the get the word out. You think? I don't really understand TikTok like that. You feel me? Well, you got a whole team that that could get you hit. True, one hundred. Yeah. So you didn't understand TikTok, but now you about to be on TikTok. You got the video dropping. You about to go to Miami? What? That's content right there. <laughs> you know that. All right, well, thank you for stopping by. It's definitely good speaking with you. It's good to have you here at Talk of the Town. And we're looking forward to seeing all the things that you do in the future.